what it can do for you. It's a Plainview Educational Partnership, and as Luna said, we call him Luna, that's his last name. As Luna said, it's a partnership with Plainview High School and United Way and Wayland. And it provides you an opportunity to come to Wayland for one year without having to pay the tuition. If you look at this sheet, I want to go over with you what you're going to be looking at when you go to college. This will be a review for you because I'm sure you've been through some of this. Look in the middle box. So by the time you get to be a senior, you should have your colleges down, narrowed down to about three. College A, College B, College C. And here are the expenses. Tuition, which is the cost of the courses. Fees, housing, that's the dorm, the apartment, whatever it is you're going to stay in. Meals and uh, travel and cost of living. So when you start to compare prices, which is part of the college game, you have to compare prices. Put down everything for college A, everything for college B, everything for college C. Don't get too caught up in the minutia of this dorm is higher than the dorm over here. This meal plan is cheaper than this don't get caught up in that minutia. It's maddening. You add up everything for each college, and then you look at the bottom line. This is literally the bottom line that everybody talks about. How much will it cost at A? How much will it cost at B? How much will it cost at C? I even went so far as to put in the cost of living. Living in plain view is quite a bit less expensive than living in the DFW area, or Austin, San Antonio, Houston. Uh, so how do you calculate the cost of living? Well, you know what I always say is, how many times a week do you want to eat out? A couple of times a week, what's a burger in Plainview? What's a burger going to be in Houston? What's a burger going to be in El Paso? So that's kind of a quick down and dirty way to take a look at it. So when you Start thinking about colleges. The first comparison is, what's the best fit for me? How do I feel there? Do they make me feel at home? Do they have my major? How far away from home is it? Those kinds of comparisons. But at some point, you'll have to do a money comparison. And this little chart right here will help you with that. If you look at the top part, you'll see Wayland expenses without Head. So this is assuming you're living at home, which you'll be able to do on PEP. That's how it was designed. So you would have tuition, $9,998. That pays for up to 18 hours, which is about six courses per semester. This is just for one semester, guys, right at $10,000. Fees, 654 books about 400 that's just a guesstimate the total 11,052 that's without pet okay now to the right you'll see the program with pet if you sign the pet contract it will take care of your tuition which you'll see is the bulk of the expenses paying for the courses so you're going to end up with a total bill of about 1,054. That's still an awful lot of money. If you're one of the families, particularly during this pandemic that's just having trouble keeping food on the table and the lights turned on, that's still a lot of money. But this is something for which you might be able to even begin saving right now, socking back a few bucks here and there particularly if you have any kind of a part-time job, so that you'd be able to take care of those costs your first year. By the way, PEP is only good during your first year right out of high school. So you graduate in 2021, then you would be expected to start Wayland on the PEP program August 2021 or August 2022. You can't come back in two years and say, I think I want to do my pet money now. And we have an awful lot of that that happens. 
it's only good for the first year right out of high school, okay? Well, I've got this big scholarship at another college. It's gonna pay for most of it. So the families would likely say, fly away, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. <laughs> College has always been a far, far away experience. Let me get out of Peeville as quickly as I possibly can. You got a big scholarship? Go on out there and see what it's like. If you don't come from a family, that can pay for college readily. And if you don't have any scholarships available, well guess what, you've got a school right here in Plainview. It's right here. Take a look at the bottom figures, those at the bottom. Without PEP, you're looking at about $15,223, and that is for a semester. That's for a semester without PEP. Well, I'm going to go on down yonder, I'm going to go on up yonder, I'm going to go across the country. Okay. At Wayland, it'll cost you $15,223. At another regional college, this is one within our vicinity, you're looking at paying $22,756. This is not South Plains, this is four-year university. You must know, college is expensive. We're a private university. We don't take federal funds to support us. We do offer federal funds for grants and scholarships. But when Luna was alluding to a tuition-based university, that's us. We depend on tuition. Other universities depend on federal monies, and they have to go by federal guidelines. Wayland is not one of those, and that's one of the benefits of coming to a private university. So, I just wanted to make sure you understand that when you're offered the opportunity to sign the PEP scholarship, or the PEP contract, it is called a contract or agreement, you're not signing your life over to Wayland. You don't have to go to Wayland. But, when you finish high school, that opportunity will be available to you if you've signed it. It was set up as a two-year contract, well, why in the world? It was designed during a time when kids were dropping out of school during their junior year. It was designed during the time when kids were having a hard time staying in school and making the grades because they had to drop out and go to work for their families. And so some really wise people got together and said, we need money for kids to be able to stay in school, make the grade, and have an opportunity to go to a college right here in Plainview. You can keep your feet under mama's table. You don't have to pay for a meal plan. You don't have to pay for an expensive dorm. You don't have to pay for the tuition, and you get a year of college free. When you graduate, we must have the final transcript that shows you graduated. You sign the contract, and then we look at your transcript that shows that you've graduated, and we're looking for two things. Did you maintain an 80 average your junior year? and your senior year, 80, not 95, 98. We're not looking at your freshman year or the sins of your sophomore year, <laughs> 80 average. The other thing is, did you maintain a 95% attendance rate during your junior and senior years? If so, then you get the PEP money your freshman year. Are there any questions specifically about the PEP contract. 